What's up everyone? Uh, it's been a while since I last did a vlog. Uh, just been very, very busy. I think it's been about two weeks, so won't waste any time babbling around and we'll jump right in. Uh, so like I said, it's been busy. I did just put together that animation and a very simple name strap, which should be popping up right now. But it's yeah, been, Daisy's been very, very busy with work. I have been getting a lot done, finally got my social security number, which I will go over in another video, uh, and actually got my bank account set up today as well. So finally on the roads, being completely settled in, all I need now is a job, and hopefully that will come very soon, if not uh, before Christmas, hopefully sometime in the new year. Um, but yeah, so recounting the last two weeks, uh, on the Sunday went to the Circuit of the Americas, which was quite strange because I covered the F1 that was there only, what, a month and a half, two, three months ago now, probably. It's basically a, for anyone who's from Sydney, like Vivid, where it's a, you know, very big light show, all these, you know, sculptures and whatnot and all these things to do there. And it was actually a really, really quite a, a very pretty, very bright uh, place to be and all these, you know, sculptures and everything and whatnot. And it was very cold when we did get there. It was... I don't know, probably about five Celsius or so, so maybe about 40 Fahrenheit. So we were we got hot cocoa, hot chocolate pretty quickly and then walked around and enjoyed everything that was there. I actually got my uh, first ever photo with Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus and had a good chat with them about Australia. And they was like, oh, are you English? I'm like, no, no, I'm Australian. So I think uh, being half Asian definitely throws people off that as well. But Santa uh, said he visited Australia in 1975 and I thought that was strange because I thought he visited Australia every December. But anyway, he said he visited in the 1970s and, you know, everyone was welcoming. He was like, oh, you know, it's, um, you know, an American in Australia. And he was with the Marines at the time and it was all lovely. And then he said that everything was fine until he got into a pub where everything turned. And I was like, oh, pretty much sums up Australia at this point. So uh, that was quite funny. And they were incredibly warm. I thought they'd be freezing there, but they had so many layers on. It was very tempting just to steal a blanket or something because I was not wearing enough clothes as it was. So that was a lot of fun. We did get to go ice skating, um, which I haven't been ice skating for probably about two years now, but I suppose it's like riding a bike where once you get the hang of it again, uh, it does become second nature. So got to go ice skating. Daisy hasn't been ice skating since college. So that was a lot of fun to watch her, you know, pick up and struggle and, uh, you know, do what she was doing there. She's not joining me today. She's currently at work. Uh, so I wanted to put this together before uh, she got back. And we're actually heading out tonight to the Trail of Lights, which again is another light show, as you'd imagine with the name. Uh, so we're going to go to that. And, you know, as you can tell, being very busy, quite social. Uh, so that was Circuit of the Americas. Got to do ice skating and all that. And then on Tuesday, as an early uh, Christmas present, I got to go, well, we got to go to... Uh, WWE Smackdown, which was a lot of fun. So Uh, this was my first, not my first WWE show, but my first WWE kind of televised show where, you know, they speak on the microphones, they do their promos, uh, and it advances the storyline. So the one I went to in Sydney is considered a house show, which is where, you know, nothing really matters. They just get, you know, all these guys, throw them all together. It's like, oh, you fight him, you fight him. And the results really don't, uh, don't really matter. So it was, it was incredible to be there. Uh, it was probably one of the best Christmas presents I've ever received. And I was telling Daisy at the beginning, it's like, you know, just you know, expect to see some weird things. And uh, we got that The Miz, who is actually a reality star turned WWE superstar, turned reality star again through WWE. He actually lived in Austin for a long time. So after the show went off the air, he was saying, oh, you know, it's great to be back and my family's sitting in the front row. Uh, you know, it's been such a great experience. And he actually called out the champion Daniel Bryant and was like, oh, you know, this is my hometown. You're not going to come here and talk crap and blah, blah, blah. And so Daniel Bryant came out and um, in true, true WWE fashion, you know, it was like, oh, you know, Austin stinks, blah, 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 trying to get the crowd against him. And Daisy was getting right into it, which I absolutely loved. And she was like, you suck, Daniel Bryan. And I think we ended up calling him Hippie Jesus and then AJ Styles, uh, Normal Jesus. So at least, yeah, she came away with something fun out of that. But 
it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, just that cheap heat, getting the crowd behind it. And it was actually some kid's birthday there too. And you know, he was like, you came to a WWE event for your birthday, you're stupid. And then the crowd started chanting happy birthday, you know, da, 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 and all this sort of stuff. But um, it was a really good show, you know, Randy Orton, a lot of the older guys there actually, um, Orton there, Jeff Hardy, um, all these guys. And then they had the contract signing for the triple threat match at TLC, but I'm not gonna get into wrestling too much because I'm sure none of you really watch it anyway or care that much, but anyway. Um, so we went to that on the Tuesday, then Saturday uh, went to her work Christmas party, which we were very, very overdressed for. I <laughs> realized I was wearing um, a nice jacket, button up shirt, bought a tie from Macy's right beforehand as well. And Daisy was wearing this lovely red dress that she looked gorgeous in. And it was very informal when we got there. You know, everyone's drinking. Most people wearing Christmas sweaters, actually, if anything. And I was like, oh, I don't feel too bad. A lot of the, the men there were wearing blazers without a tie, so I didn't feel too bad. And then uh, the women there, you know, most of them just wearing, you know, casual clothes, although a few were dressed up like Daisy too, so I didn't feel too bad in the end. So that was that. It was nice to meet everyone there. They're all, you know, incredibly lovely people, and it was great to have a chat with them. And, um, you know, you tell plenty of stories about coming from Australia to here, and, you know, they, Daisy being four foot ten and me being six foot one, you know, we're definitely an odd couple in that sort of aspect. But, I mean, we're an odd couple in other aspects too. But anyway, I digress. So we had that, and then this weekend just gone, we went to see her parents in East Texas, close to Tyler, which was uh, very interesting. I won't delve into too much because I think I should do that with Daisy. But thank you everyone for watching. I know this has been a little bit longer of a video. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to get more of these vlogs out a little bit quicker and hopefully talk to you soon.